What is the best way to market your nail business in 2020? We've got some really good ideas. Tracy and I are gonna dig into this right now on The Biz Talk. This is actually our second go round because- Take two. Take two. Tracy forgot to hit record on the podcast. The recorder the is podcast. over there. Right by him. Yeah, but see, I'm the CEO. So. And guess what? This is not the first time this has happened. <laughs> this is not the first time. <laughs> but even if it's my fault, it's not my fault. It always is pass. my fault. It's always Tracy's fault. It's the GM's fault, she, no matter what happens. She's the general manager. <laughs> it's my fault. Okay, I forgot to push it. It's my fault well, for coming to work for him. It's, that's definitely your fault. Okay. Um, I'm actually glad that this is our second go around and we're actually recording this one on, <laughs> on the audio. I'm glad we're recording this one too. Me too. <laughs> but the reason why is because as we went through the first one, I kind of came across um, some things that I wanted to kind of dive into further and narrow. Um, so that first one was a good practice run. Practice run. Yes. Yes. That's so, okay. I'm on clock. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Chair's comfortable. <laughs> okay. Best marketing strategy for 2020. I'm going to lay it out first. Do it. Really quick. Um, okay. So digital or not? Digital. Tracy, digital or not? What is digital? Social media. Okay. Nah. No? Okay. Tracy's going traditional. It's a hard pass. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. You have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So obviously we're both going to agree that digital is going to be the best way. Now from there... That would have been funny if actually you're like, no, Habib, no. I'm taking a stand like right here I'm now. I'm putting the ad in the paper right now. <laughs> actually, it would have been funny if you did that. It's usually how it is with us. But I know, I know. We agree. We Yay. agree. So uh, digital is obviously what we're going to say, number one. Now, exactly what is the best uh, strategy for digital marketing in 2020 for the nail professional? Okay, I'm going to go in this order to, so that you cover all of your demographics, right? You, all your age groups. I'm going to say Instagram number one. Oh, so that's top. That's top for me. Okay. I'm going to go TikTok number two. Your favorite number two. My, huh? It's actually my favorite number one, but right now I still believe for the nail industry, yeah. Instagram is the absolute most important thing. Agreed. I'm going to go TikTok two, and then I'm going to go Facebook number three. Hmm. Okay. And then, um, so those are kind of my top platforms for 2020. What about you? Agree, disagree, anything different? No, I hadn't think, I thought about TikTok being number two. But yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, and, for me, Instagram is just it. Like yeah. I, Facebook, I, un I understand, I, I think you should be on Facebook and all that. But when I need something, I go to Instagram. So yeah. definitely Instagram number one. Yeah, I think that's... I think it's a good, good order. Yeah, for the nail professional. Now, if I was going to throw in a fourth, mm. okay, I would go LinkedIn. I was going to guess. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I'm super LinkedIn. So let me, let me just, let me back up a second. So TikTok and LinkedIn right now, you have the greatest potential to grow organically. Okay. So when you put out content, it's going to reach a lot of people without spending money is what that means, okay? Yeah. So the reason why I like LinkedIn is because there's not a lot of nail pros on there, but you can reach business professionals, right? There's tons of like women in business on right. this platform. It's a great way to reach them. There's not a lot of people on there. I would be on there for sure. I love LinkedIn. Yeah, I, I really do too. Do. I think I think just what you said for the business meeting those p type of clients that a lot of people are wanting and um, connecting with. Correct. Used to be what, what did what did they used to go to? I want to say town hall. Gosh, I'm way ah, they used to go to these things to connect kind of connect and I forget what it's okay. called. Okay. Anyway, this is the way, new way of doing it, to connect your businesses. This I is, got you. Yeah. I got you. I understand. You know which one I'm... I, I have it. no idea, but I'm just going well, to pretend like I you. agree. I, yeah, yeah, it's totally. It's not town hall. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Okay, it's not town hall. We got that. But group group meeting or something, right? A business. A, group, a business group meeting, like a bunch of businesses would get together and they kind of market somebody's to gonna, each other. Somebody's going to have the answer. help Tracy okay. out. I have vacation brain, by the way. I just got back. <laughs> she did. Okay. 
So, so like these, okay, so what do you do? Okay, you've got these platforms. Here's the places that we think you should be for 2020. What do you do on them? Okay, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna lay out like a real simple basic strategy that's not gonna take you a lot of time. Okay, ready for this? Trace, you ready to take notes? Come on. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> just like I take notes on everything you say. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'm going to say post one set of nails a day on Instagram. Okay. Share that on Facebook as well. So that's one post, two places. Okay. I would go on to TikTok. Okay. And you can do, you can take your smartphone. You can get a little stand from Amazon. It's going to cost you 50 bucks, maybe less than that. Set it up. Do a little time lapse of a just one technique. For example, picking up a pearl of acrylic or brushing on acrylic on the nail or polishing the nail or gel polishing the nail. Okay, 15 second little video or you do it longer and you time lapse it, whatever. That's what you do on TikTok. Post it once a day. It's, I'm, it's not going to take you a lot of time and that can go to instagram and facebook too that also you can actually post that on main feed or you can also post that on to stories as well because it it can all connect connects right correct and then on linkedin to start i would just post like your your finished set of nails that you're doing on your clients and basically talk through what you did you know what i like even more actually as an overall strategy on all the platforms, I swear to God, I always go back to this, okay? If you can put out little bits of education of Mm. what you do, and you put that on all the platforms, I am telling you, you're gonna do really well. For example, okay, how to put on a nail form. Sounds really simple. Sounds super basic, (laughs) right? Super basic. There's a lot of people that don't know how to put on a nail form. I was it. I was six one years. of them. Dude, I, <laughs> I was one not, of them too. Exactly. That's a great piece of content. Yeah. How at, you know, Habib's Nails, how I put on nail forms. And I would do like a 20 second little piece. And I would show you how to put the form on with my iPhone, with my little stand. And I would go through the detail and then I would post it on all the platforms. And I'm telling you, especially on a platform like LinkedIn, where you've got these... These are business women, okay? Yeah. They are running their own business. They're they're out there getting it, okay? For them to watch a piece of content that comes through where it's like, wow, look at this nail tech. She's educating people on how to put on this nail form. I think she knows what she's doing. Right, and to, to that fact, because people might be thinking, well, why would I educate how to put a form on? I'm not trying to teach people. I'm trying to get customers. Customers love it that's right and you can also put in there this is why i like to do forms right nails look this way i find it is stronger i find it that you get a more natural look i you can explain that little piece of like oh wow that sets her apart correct you know you know what a perfect example is if i watch for example like right now i've told tracy i've told everybody here i'm obsessed with cooking shows right now okay do you cook i i do not But this is a perfect example, just like the consumer that doesn't do nails, but loves watching nail content or how to do nails, right? I don't cook. I'm never going to be a chef. I don't want to be a chef ever in my life. But there's something about it that fascinates me, right? And so I watch these guys do stuff. And I'm not kidding you. Most of the time, I'm like, what the hell are they doing? Didn't know that much work went into it. Had no idea that much work. But because of their depth of knowledge... I'm like, dude, I want to go to the restaurants. I want to I want to buy everything that they have because these guys are educating everybody on what they're doing. That's why it's great content to educate, so you know? True. So true. And that in itself needs to be part of your strategy, marketing strategy for 2020. Here are your platforms that we talked about. <clears throat> now, what do you put on these platforms? That educate. Educate your you don't have to sit there and like show this like in i mean showing a beautiful set of nails is is great like that's easy content but something super simple like um polishing technique right that is one of our top performing videos, videos. it is i i've like oh, it's gonna want to watch dude this. everybody loves that everybody video. loves it yeah now 
if you're a nail professional and you're putting out content on Instagram, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, okay, on um, TikTok, on like perfect polishing technique or how, like what a great way to polish is, I want to go to you because you're talking about how to do something really well and you're actually wanting to teach people. I want to go to that person. Yeah, but Habib, what if my client sees that and wants to do it herself because I taught her how now? Well, okay, that's a great question and I would pose the same thing on the flip side. Just because I watch these shows about how to build homes, about how to cook these dishes, does not mean I want to do it, man. No, and I, I think and I, it shows. I I gain more appreciation for them because you see the work that goes behind it. Well, well, give it a shot and try it, <laughs> try it. dude. Yeah. I did. Like you've seen Pro Teaches Beginner series on YouTube where Tracy and Greg are teaching me how to do nails. It is really, really hard to do it well and to do it right. If I want to cook. Um, like a, a mediocre steak, but I want to feel good about it and get the ingredients and the recipe from the cookbook from the guy that I love the most and give it a shot and it's not going to be the same, I then I can do that. Yeah. Or I can just get my butt in the car and go down and spend an hour and a half enjoy. with my wife, a great, have conversation and then enjoy the amazing steak that comes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's the same. The thing is, is that that's so comparable to the salon. The reason why people go get manis and petties i would say the majority of the reason is the experience is. of like i'm gonna get my hour i'm gonna relax and i'm gonna get it done right i don't i don't do my own pedicures i go for the experience see that's super interesting to me you're a nail professional i'm a nail tech you go in to get pedicures i do not do my own Correct. Correct. That totally makes sense. So kind of like going off on different topics here, yeah, but we, we, tend, to we tend to do that. <laughs> but it's, but it, back to it, it, that is so important. 2020, that's how we market ourselves. That is how we market ourselves. I'm telling you, go to our Instagram page and look at what we're posting. A lot of the, the techniques and stuff there, a lot of them are super basic and it's part of like our strategy is just education. You know, we're not doing anything insane right. but the difference is that we're doing it and you can do the same thing take those platforms for 2020 you know what i mean if you're gonna so if you're gonna prioritize one so that would be my top four okay if you're able to if you're if your content game let's say for the more experienced person okay but if you're just starting out and you don't feel so comfortable on social just do instagram for the plain reason of you need to build that portfolio so that you can push people. Because how do people search for nails, Trace? I Every time I move or anytime yeah. I'm looking for something, it's hashtag nails that city. Correct. I think I was telling you before. Yeah. Take one. Yeah. Uh, that I just recently went to Vegas, visited my mom. She wasn't happy with her hairdresser. She's like, I, I need to find someone new. I'm like, let's check it out. Let's Instagram. find someone. Do you like this blonde? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Kept looking. And you know what? My mom's in her 70s. Sorry, mom. Um, and she didn't know how, but now she knows. And she found a hairdresser on Instagram. That's exactly right. And it's how people search. So you need to be on that platform. For, in, in my opinion, it's not negotiable. Um, you've got to be on right. at least Instagram, okay? I it's, think it's just, it's, we were kind of talking before, like this is new marketing. Correct. There are showing your nails, wearing your nails, talking to people, that that never gets old. Of course, th th that's always going to be a strategy. But if you can put yourself on a fast track and get your full clientele two to three times faster, it's just, we went to lunch earlier. We could have walked there. We yep. would still be walking back. That's a great point. We but took a car. we took a car. Right. Why? Because that's technology. <laughs> yeah. And that technology got us there way faster and back here way faster. It's it's a it's a really really good point. Utilize technology um, to communicate faster and more volume mm -hmm. of people. You can do that. You guys should really peep in original, uh, in, or, excuse me, an older video that we did on location marketing. We're going to link it here so that you can check it out. Utilize location marketing. It is such a great, it's fast. Mm -hmm. You can do it like 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day. That like, and, and, and free, free, free. <laughs> 
as that, well. That's the big one to me. I keep saying yeah. that. I know I was saying it earlier. Free. Because I used to spend a lot of money on... Radio. Radio. I did, yeah. I did newspaper Yellow. ones. I did Yellow, Yellow Pages. Pages. I did, yeah. And it all cost yeah. money. Exactly. So it's super important just to kind of sum it all up. Okay. Strategy of 2020. If you're going to pick... If you're going to go top four... I would go Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and then LinkedIn to focus on. Um, I would content ideas for marketing your brand for 2020 would be focus on education, focus on showing, like imagine when you're talking into the camera, you don't have to show your face. You can have just the hands and you can, you can just talk and do the demo right there if you don't like being on camera. And... Just imagine you're teaching a client. Imagine the client asks you, what's a good way to polish nails? Show them and show the camera. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid that you're going to lose the customer because you're teaching them to do it. It's not going to happen, okay? Because in today's, um, actually not even today, in the history of business, people love a good service. So they're going to come to you if you're you're giving them a good service, okay? And then... um, I think that's it. I think those are the big takeaways. Utilize education for content ideas. That way you can put them on these platforms. And then finally, excuse me, if you're going to pick one, just one to be on, because at the minimum, I don't think you, I don't believe personally that you can go in the nail business today and not be on social media at all. I think you need to at least be on Instagram for the sole reason of, of you need a portfolio And that's your portfolio today is on Instagram. So if you're going to choose one, go on IG. And then just connect it to your Facebook. Now you have two. Now you got two. That's it. You don't have to do any any other work. Done. Done at the minimum. So let us know in the comments below your ideas, what you do, um, some good strategies that you maybe have in 2020 that maybe we missed or you want to add to the conversation. We'd love to hear about it. Tracy. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you guys next week on the Biz Talk.